San Antonio Sports Star, ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 1250. Let's do it. It's R&R &R in the morning. It's time to get low. Let's do the lowdown with low sessions. Took a week off, but is back. Uh, full of flavored and ready to go. I'm We're back. So glad I'm, I'm ready. Here. Thank you. Hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to hop on the stream yard here. I'm a little she late had, to the party. My bad. She had that a lot of golf stuff to do. So uh, when she was able to get off, she had to take some time We off. talked about it. She was gone. But while she's here, let's give her the credit that she's due. Everybody that came out and enjoyed our golf tournament, everything that you saw, all that you enjoyed was all because of Lowe and all the work that she put into it. Aww. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It was great. I it had a was. great time. It was spectacular. Lowe. Thank Good. you for everything. It ran smooth, nothing but positive remarks. Yeah. And lots of hangovers. So yeah, it worked well, out quite well. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, that's a good thing. No, but I, I'm glad you guys thought it was great. I'm glad, you know, the audience thought it was great. And, and we're going to be doing more of those. So yes, stay tuned. So, There's one coming in the spring. We, so. we had a meeting really? about it yesterday. Yeah. It's already getting moving. It's already oh, going. We're already putting the, the one for the springs already in motion. Yes. We yeah. plan. We're, we're finding some spots. We're finding some, some spots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what we can do. We yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We're not. So what's happening? <laughs> what's happening in our fair city? Oh man. Well, you know, I just got back, so I had to do. I had to, I had to do dive deep and do some research. Thank you, Pledger, for putting a little something together for me. There's um, <laughs> there's some good shows in the area now. I know there's a long-standing feud between San Antonio and Austin, but why don't we don't do tacos? What happened? <laughs> Harry Styles has his residency out there. Um, that's going to be, Austin? yeah, in Austin. So it's, it's wow. already been going on and, um, he's taken over the Moody center for like five days. He's taken that over the many? world. Yeah. How many did he do at Madison square garden? I want to say about five, five or six. Is his music that good? I mean, you groove to it. You I, ride around. Do you ride around and say, I want to hear Harry Styles? No, but, <laughs> but he, he definitely has a, air about himself and and he's from the uh oh here we go oh <laughs> he's God. from one direction so oh, boy band that's right, that's into right. solo artists he's like the the not millennial but the gen z version of justin timberlake breaking off from nsync oh okay if i now can put I it into it. Con comparison I got, it. I got it yeah justin was huge when he left he major so harry was definitely the front man for one direction and now he's doing his whole thing. Plus, you can add in like the British flair to it. Right. You know, he's got a little David Bowie he's a little flair sexy. to him. He's, yeah. he's sexy with it. Right. He's sexy with it. Is Good it, for him. Is he a musician or is he an entertainer? Entertainer. No, he's a musician. Okay. Oh, he plays oh, a lot he of plays instruments. plays instruments. I mean, like, yeah, he plays he piano, sing. guitar. He can okay. sing. And he's even getting into like acting and stuff now, too. Of course. Yeah. So him That's and Olivia next... Wilde are dating. Um, oh, really? And he's in that new movie called Don't Worry, Darling. Um, there's a lot of a lot Aaron of drama Rod surrounding that. Aaron Rodgers ex Olivia Wilde. I think no, so. that was that's no, a that Mun. was Olivia Munn. Mun. Okay. Oh, Olivia Munn. Yeah. But he is also about to be Star Fox, as he was teased in an in credit scene in Marvel's Eternals. I don't even know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> he's that's he's cute. about to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic oh, Universe. Okay, so that's what huge. And his superhero name is Star Fox. I mean, yep. I can I can see that. I can see. Are that you look. kidding me? So what Harry Styles has taken over Moody Center. Gorillas is actually going to be splitting up Harry's residency on yeah. what is it? Friday, Pledger. Friday, because Pledge think it's is, fr yeah, James Friday. is a so Gorillas mad. fan. Don't ask he him about the meta. He's hurt and all that stuff goes on behind. So he's. Pledger's side, he's going to miss that. But if you're going to be in Austin that day, you should go check it out. I like the gorillas. <laughs> yeah, the gorillas like are cool. Um, so those are like the big shows that are in the area. Oh, I, I forgot one. Flaming Lips is going to be out um, at the Aztec Theater uh, this Friday, tomorrow. Is that the one that started with a whisper? Is that them? Uh, yes. That's them. Yes. Flaming Lips. Is are they an Austin name. band? I don't know. I think they might be That's an a Austin great band. name, by the way. Flaming Lips, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we got Harry Styles, oh, Flaming no. Lips, and Gorillas in the area this weekend mm -hmm. for shows. Um, it's officially fall, y'all. Is it? <laughs> That's why Rudy's wearing Uggs. It feels good. You got Uggs on? Yeah, got Uggs on. <laughs> nah. -uh. You don't believe that. Um, Pumpkin spice season, baby. So if you're trying to get on your, you know, basic-ish, we got the <laughs> we got the fall and pumpkin patch. 
but wait for it. Where? With alpacas. It's what? at the it's at the Black Barn Alpaca Farm off uh 181 in Floresville. Now, so how does that work? So you pay ten dollars and you go out and there's all kinds of exciting things. And there's you, a pumpkin yeah. patch. There's carnival games. There's hay rides. Now, I have a truck. <laughs> he's like time out. Uh, how okay? How can I steal an alpaca? Why um, do you want an alpaca? Well, why would you announce it? You just go and do it because it's because <laughs> it's twenty five thousand dollar alpaca. You blot it. I want an alpaca rug. Uh, oh, so it's for you would take it and utilize it. You weren't going to like raise it and keep it in your backyard. You ever been around? I don't know if I'm allowed alpacas, to say that. They spit. Yeah, they, they do. Bite. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I mean, they're they're not a joy to be around by any stretch. <laughs> from Napoleon Dynamite, Tina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tina, <laughs> eat your food, Tina. <laughs> No, tuna, but, what was it? Tuna salad? I, I don't know what he was giving. Casserole. I don't know what he yeah. was giving her, but it was weird. That okay. that movie is so strange. A pumpkin patch is always a hit, with, but, especially with the kiddo. And it's all month long, exactly. So yeah. it's it's perfect for the kids if you're looking to get some cute photos for the gram. You know, a little a little fun uh, date night or Do day date. Do any of you guys currently have a live or a previously uh, a pumpkin in your house, like a door? Oh, or, I just or, uh, I just bought two yesterday. You got some pumpkins? Yeah, I did. Um, I, I'm the husband to a former teacher. First of all, you're a, you're an empty nester. Y'all don't decorate. Oh, I beg to differ. See, my wife, if you're a teacher, you decorate your boards. You know, you always got these oh, bulletin yeah. boards yeah, yeah, and you're, sure. you're graded on it. It's important. Well, now that my wife is retired, my home is now the bulletin board. <laughs> oh. We got, I, I would go right now. I bet I got 25 to 30 pumpkins inside alone. There's Not, no way. Right. Oh, are you oh, serious? Oh, on the wall. Uh, oh, you, there's uh, the porcelain pumpkins. There's the live pumpkins. There's the wooden pumpkins. Now, I saw there's some the good smelling pumpkins. <laughs> I saw oh, some pumpkin pumpkins. candles. I saw some white pumpkins at HEB. So I got a white pumpkin yesterday. See, yeah. And that. I got one of those cute little like pink orange pumpkins. So I have those two in front of my door at the house. See, there you and go. then I have pumpkins on my see, entertainment console. See? And then I have pumpkins in like a little glass bowl in the kitchen. And how about uh, pumpkin spice? You had a drink yet? Had a coffee or a <laughs> have tea? I had a pumpkin? Of course She's I have. It. <laughs> Are you do you do, pump, do you do pumpkin beer? I'm shotgunning those things. <laughs> <laughs> that's for an entire that's a radio reason i, I do like pumpkin beer but like uh, i can only shiner? i can only eat like i can only drink like one oh, okay. i can't i can't have like a you know do you i got a buddy that like lives for pump shiner pumpkin no hell no it's too i don't i don't like that it's no, not I it's it tastes not like for dessert me. yeah it's not for me a dessert beer that that just doesn't yeah there's certain restaurants um that if you get them they'll they'll like rim the glass with like cinnamon sugar so that's like oh, an extra no, effect no. <laughs> cinnamon sugar See, I just I don't like pumpkin in the first place do they have I, beer is there a pumpkin miller light no the only beer of the Dallas no Cowboys way. that's why they don't have there a better pumpkin. not be yeah they're the okay, only beer of the Dallas ask. Cowboys for a reason yeah okay. I think that's like like no you pumpkin. said like a shiner thing and like um I know what is it um some Carbock. Of the, yeah, there's there's no, like a Samuel lot of Samuel like, Adams. Well, Samuel Adams has a do one. The, the problem with those kind of craft spice beers is if, Shipyard. I think Shipyard does yeah. one. Pumpkinhead. Uh, my mother will host like a get together for our whole family, and you know she's putting together a theme. So you know our family is all guys. So we're over for like a fall Sunday, and to go along with the theme, she will have gone and bought like a case a pumpkin beer oh no so we're that's all too much so that's what I'm saying. So they're all sitting around like well that was what we're we gonna do now you're gonna have <laughs> yeah. to drink it well, no. <laughs> that beer stays in my parents refrigerator for years oh we gross pumpkin beer that fridge who knew anyway moving along what else oh man got? um well one more thing that i find pretty interesting because you've heard of like the bar crawl right yes. yeah yeah you know there's you know like you hop around all these yeah. different of course restaurants and bars and whatnot well um today's national coffee day and what? apparently tomorrow, San Antonio plans to do a citywide coffee crawl to celebrate International Coffee Day. Okay. Now, so how do we do this? This is what I will say. This is what I'm going to say. <laughs> Low, it better be to local. We, I don't want to be crawling to Dutch Bros and Starbucks. So, I mean, I know, you, I know you're a Starbucks man or whatever, mm -hmm. but do local. But it is local. Okay. So I'm glad That's you brought that up because I was going to mention how local hyper this is and, and okay, i love good. that because a local coffee shop in my opinion is just far so more superior right. than you know the starbucks or the duncan or the dutch bros whatever 
Um, so it's it's kicking off with Big Vibes Art Show or Art Art House, and it's going to okay. be um twenty coffee spots highlighted. <laughs> so that includes you're uh, going to be so high. I know, like <laughs> what are you? I, and, and people gonna are going to be running days, running right? to the bathroom what for like the whole weekend. <laughs> you know, like how I I I couldn't drink twenty. Cups you're of not going to be crawling. You're going to be sprinting. Yeah, sprinting to the bathroom for sure. <laughs> um, I'm but on no, my 19th cappuccino. <laughs> some local coffee shops that are participating include Archie's Coffee Lounge, okay. uh, Folklore's Coffee, Mojo's, Shotgun Roasters, uh, Alley Cat Coffee, among others. And I guess they're just you know spotlighting some. That's good. Some uh, you know maybe seasonal beverages that they're doing and. I'm happy about just, that. Yeah, just hyping up the local vibes, you know. I would think they're going to do shot glasses because there's know. no way you can do like there's no you're way you're not going to be able to do a, a 10 ounce at every stop hell no you know what i mean <laughs> if you do then we're going to be up God late bless. tomorrow yeah. we're all going to be up late tomorrow night we're all going to be acting like pledge yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's that's all i caffeine, got it's pre-workout oh okay big difference no big difference. same thing <laughs> Big difference. Same outcome. <laughs> but I'm I'm happy about that. No, this is good stuff. Glad to have you back. Oh, thanks. Glad no, to be people back. In Florida, okay? They nope. are. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I, I checked in with mom and dad. They're on the East Coast, so they're not getting the brunt of it. Um, but yeah, they're good. Good. Yeah, thank you. That was the low sessions. You like that? Be back next Thursday. Same bat channel. <laughs>